And among the conservatives who have a problem with the reform plan, Rich Lowry, editor of the National Review, he co-authored a piece titled Kill the Bill, the Weekly Standard. Rich Lowry, good morning. How you doing? Okay, I'm looking at the Wall Street Journal editorial page today, conservative, which says the GOP is splintered and confused on immigration, and this has left the party with no coherent or winning message. Is there a civil war in the Republican Party on this issue? There are divisions on this issue. There's, there's no doubt, doubt about it. And you see it... Um, in the House, you see it in the Senate, you see it with George W. Bush, former president, is going to give a speech. He's always been in favor of comprehensive immigration reform. I think the Senate bill is a huge mistake, though, and the House is right to kill it, and I would expect it to kill it. So, Rich, what do you make, then, of the Congressional Budget Office report that says there are huge economic benefits to passing it, that it'll also cut the immigration problem effectively in half? I mean, you, but you say passing this bill is worse than passing nothing. Well, they say by a third or a half, and that's assuming it's actually all going to be implemented, which I think is a very dubious assumption. We've gone through this a story before in 1986. We passed a similar bill, an amnesty with promised enforcement in the future. The enforcement never actually happened. And if you take the CBO's word by a third or a half, you still could get six, seven, eight million more illegal immigrants here in 10 years. So we would be looking at this very same problem we're facing now. In terms of the economic benefit, there are small economic benefits, but it does have a redistributive uh, effect on wages. It hurts people lower down in the income scale and helps people higher up. Is that really a, a sound policy? Is it a sound argument to say because a bill's not perfect, you shouldn't pass it at all? Well, it's not just that it's not perfect, it's deeply flawed. And but you can what, say that about hearing, most legislation in Washington. Come on. Well, that's why I probably oppose most legislation in Washington. But look, you know, Marco Rubio says we shouldn't do this if we're going to come back and have to face the same problem. Mm -hmm. And I think we are. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you then about not doing anything. Um, you mean, you've got essentially uh, George W. Bush, you have Jeb Bush, you have Marco Rubio, you have a number of conservative economic business leaders who all say you've got to pass some sort of immigration reform. The political element then is that the Republican Party is in demographic death spiral unless they do something on immigration reform. You think the House Republicans should just do nothing? Well, they can pass incremental enforcement measures that they think make sense. And enforcement is very popular with public across the board mm -hmm. among all groups. And the idea that you have to pass this particular bill at this particular moment or you're never going to win any Latino voters again, I think is just silly. Um, I think in 24, after the 2014 elections, Republicans, they may control the Senate. Then you can work this thing from the opposite end. You can pass it all with Republican votes and pick off some Democrats, sort of the opposite strategy Chuck Schumer has had here, and then dare President Obama to veto it. All right. Rich Lowry, good to see you. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.